Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm sure South Africans know who you are, but for the benefit of those that have been hiding under a rock, um, if you can please introduce yourself uh, to South Africans and then tell us a little bit about what is your takeaway from tonight's speech by the president and then, um, you know, what are some of your reflections about tonight's speech? Thank you very much. Um, my name is Malusi Kikaba. Yes. I'm a member of parliament and a member of the African National Congress. I think the speech was a well-balanced speech which sought to inspire confidence in the nation, especially in the context of um, the new reality where we have a government of national unity. A lot of people have been wondering whether um, what the focus of government is going to be, what its priorities are going to be, whether some of the critical programs, such as the national health insurance, uh, economic reform, energy investments, infrastructure investments, are, are still going to go ahead, and whether the state still sees itself playing an important role in that regard. And the president um, was quite clear that the state is going to go ahead implementing the national health insurance um, expanding infrastructure, creating new energy infrastructure, resolving the binding constraints on rail and ports, but also that the state is going to play an important role in addressing macroeconomic uh, reform to ensure that macroeconomic policy continues to support growth and employment. That is what is important. Um, and, and, and I think it was important for him to say those things because we see the state as, a, as, as continuing to play an important role in infrastructure. We do not want, as the ANC, um, only a privatized infrastructure where ordinary South Africans have no access. But um, be that as it may, the private sector has an important role to play as well, to unlock its uh, resources. But uh, that role must not mean that the state therefore is retreating from um, economic development and transformation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Gigaba. And um, I think that one thing that you did mention is that the president reiterated that all the plans or all the programs that have been in, put in place are still yes. continuing. So putting to bed some of the, the naysayers and so on. And then I think also another thing is really to say that this economic growth or the growth that you're going to see, it will continue to be inclusive and transformative, making sure that it takes along black people and it takes along uh, women and youth. So, so really sobering and uh, quite a positive speech. And I think that it resounded with a lot of South Africans don't you think? I think it did. Um, you know, ordinary South Africans who are unemployed want to know whether we are going to focus on jobs. I think during the debate of the opening of a parliament address, we will want to hear from ministers what plans are in place to create employment concretely, mm -hmm. to drive industrialization, a broad-based industrialization program, to ensure that um, we intervene in the economy to, to stimulate growth because uh, the South African economy has been stagnant for quite a long time and we've um, experienced a, a protracted period of uh, fiscal austerity. Now government has got to resolve that problem because there cannot be anybody with the power, the capacity and the, 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 the commitment to, to stimulate growth in the economy and lift us out of austerity. It's been too long. It affects South Africa in very serious ways. The budgets of departments have been cut, including budgets that are critical to economic growth and employment creation. So we now must move towards the phase where there are concrete action plans being announced and put in place. Thank you very much. I'm sure that there, I'm sure that there will be. Thank you very much. There you have it, South Africans, from Member of Parliament, Mr. Melusi Gigaba. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You.